What's up guys? A lot has happened in the last couple of weeks. I've gotten in a lot of parts and I actually picked up another car. I know it's a sick obsession, but here we go. Regarding the 124 race car that I'm building, um, see some control arms, some big uh, E60 sway bars. There's the rear one back there. Got all the polyurethane bushings in uh, from Strong Flex. And I've started disassembling the uh, 98 E300 to uh, get the engine out. Really, I've, here's all the junk I've taken out. There's the radiator. And this is a bitch to take out of the car. I've actually never had as much trouble taking out a radiator. Um, it took hours. So anyway, the radiator's out of here. And uh, when I was taking it out, I did actually snap. This is the uh, radiator shroud. This like, you know, it, it's made out of rubber and it actually, you know, covers the air gaps so the fans cool efficiently. And I snapped it here and here when removing it. So I just put some JB Plasti Weld or whatever you call it on there. And uh, um, so here is the crazy part. Here's 198 E300. And here is another E300. This one's a 99. Um, this car was in uh, about an hour and a half south of here. The car is pretty much a beater. Um, 280,000 miles on it. Uh, it. Stinks inside. I think it was a smoker. Um, you know, it looks kind of decent on the video here, but uh, it's it's the car is kind of a piece of crap. But it has 280,000 miles on it, uh, and the engine's good. It fired right up. Um, so what I want to do is take this very low mileage, 95,000 miles, 606 turbo, to put in that car. Because it's going to be raced. I want low mileage to make sure it's in good as condition as possible. And then I'm just going to pull this engine out of here, which it fires up and runs no problem, and uh, put this back into this car. Because this E300 is mint condition. I mean, it is a beautiful car. Um, and my girlfriend needs a car. So we're going to sell her little piece of crap uh, Chevy Cobalt. Um, sorry, Shannon. I, I know you love that car. But we're going to sell that for about 1500 bucks, which covers the cost of this car. Which basically, I just bought the engine. And we'll throw that engine in here and she can drive that. And... Uh, these engines, even though it has 280,000 miles on it, I'll replace a couple of seals, gaskets, water pump, O-rings, that kind of stuff, and that engine will go for another 150,000 miles, I'm sure. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the update. And you know, another thing I've noticed, every time I come in this garage, this oil pan has drips all over it. And uh, I think this plug may not be sealing correctly even though I put a fresh crush washer on there so I might have to take this over to the machine shop and have them maybe fix this plug but because uh, um, I have to use this oil pan um, on that engine anyway that's the latest update I don't know if I have any more goodies oh here's uh, something interesting um, in the other garage, there's a 95, uh, I'm sorry, an 85 300 SD, and I removed the uh, gauge cluster because the odometer stopped working. And so I opened it up and uh, removed the little gears, and it's weird, they're like almost a rubber, a soft plastic malleable gear. And here's one of the gears, you're not going to be able to, see, well, you can see. It's missing some teeth right there on the right side. You can't see in this video, I'm sure. Yeah, right there on the right side. Yep, there we go. A couple of teeth 
three or four, it looks like a row of five of them like broke off. Anyway, caused the odometer to stop working. And uh, a lot of people might say that's a good thing, the car stays low mileage, right? But uh, I don't know when to do my oil changes. And uh, so I've taken the gears off here and uh, they just plug onto these three axles right in there. You have to see one, two, three. And they make these uh, replacement gears because this is a common problem. So I'm going to swap that out, put that back in the 300 SD. New addition to the garage is this awesome drill press. Uh, very, very nice drill press that I got from a buddy for 400 and about 400 bucks. Um, he had a family member pass away and this was in the garage and it was actually still in the box. And uh, this is a super nice drill press. Um, it's good for metal working because I think it spins, you can make it spin at 275 RPM, which you really want them to spin slow uh, when dealing with certain uh, drilling and certain metals. Also picked up a uh, new addition to the garage over here. This is also got from that same friend is the uh, grinder, or uh, bench grinder. So always wanted one of those. Also really, really good brand. That's some high quality stuff. But so I have all the parts out of the E300. There's the radiator from this car, 280,000 miles on it, 98,000 miles. And uh, fans, it's interesting, this one's a 99, this one's a 98. And uh, got some more parts over here. And uh, the bitch about removing these uh, radiators is right down here, right there is the intercooler. And that intercooler bolts on to the radiator. So you actually have to remove the bolts and then stick a screwdriver on, in there from the bottom and uh, just kind of pop it off the radiator. And it kind of it will kind of fall down into the front of the car. Uh, you know, it falls about an inch, but then you can free up the radiator. And I think for this engine, man, it's gross in there. But uh, I'm going to have to order a fan. Um, notice the fan blade is broken on this engine, and that probably doesn't matter too much due to how many fan blades there are, but it does cause a balance issue um, when this fan is spinning. It will, it could cause a vibration or a strange noise or, um, not sure, because uh, it is plastic. I'm sure this doesn't weigh very much, but I'll go ahead and order another one of these. But you can see the difference between a high mileage engine, this 280,000 miles, versus 98,000 miles. What a difference. This one's super clean. And you can see like the main years of leaking. You don't see any leaking here on this engine, but from years of running a diesel. See all that goop over there? Also stuff like this. Uh, here's some, I think these might be Fuel lines here. Yeah, just look at the, look at the crap. I don't know what these lines are, but I don't know. That could be a. Where does that go anyway? I don't know, but they're just covered in gunk. And when you look at the 98,000 mile motor, perfectly clean. Um, so this engine compartment is super clean. Pull the engine out put that engine in here and we'll see how much life we can get out of this car because man, this car is beautiful looks like it's never even been used a little bit of wear on the armrest but uh, oh cool someone also converted this one to the new style uh, headlamps Whereas this one has the, I guess, K2 
can't really see in there. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, that's what I've been up to. Sorry, I haven't posted a video in a while, but I will keep you all posted. And uh, thanks for watching.